What is up guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. Today we're going to be looking at Minecraft Java Edition. In my previous video I did show you how to install Optifine for Minecraft Java and today I'm going to show you how to install Optifine without Java. So this might be useful for you if you don't want to install Java on your system or you're not able to get it running. So with this method you should be able to run and install Optifine without having Java installed on your system. Alright, so in case you are wondering what is Optifine, with Optifine we are able to download and install shader packs for Minecraft Java Edition. And as you can see, currently I am using a shader pack, which is the BSL shaders, and I'm only able to install this and use it by having Optifine installed. So it's really cool to have it installed, and today I'm going to show you how to install it without Java. Alright, so the first thing you need to do is open up your internet browser and just type in Optifine in the search box there and it's normally the first link so as you can see Optifine.net if we just click on that click on downloads click on this link here which is the mirror link and hopefully it is the uh, direct link to the download file click on download it will start downloading all right so once you've downloaded the Optifine file it, if you put it on your desktop and just rename it to Optifine and I'll show you why we're renaming this file later on and the next thing you need to do is right click on your Minecraft launcher click on properties and we need to see where your Minecraft launcher has been installed to as you can see my one has been installed in the D drive in the games folder now if you're using your C drive chances are that you've gone with the default installation directory which is C and then program files so just keep that in mind because this is also going to be useful for later on. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move this file, which is optifine.jar, into our root folder of the hard drive. So because I've got Minecraft Launcher installed on my D drive, I'm going to put this file in my D drive as well. All right, so I'm going to open up this PC, scroll down to where it says the D drive. I'm going to copy the optifine.jar file into the root directory there. All right, so that's done. And as you can see, the optifine.jar file is now in the root directory of my D drive. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to click on the search icon here in your taskbar and type in CMD for the command prompt and press return. You can also get to this by just typing in CMD in here, as you can see. let's go open it from here all right so once command prompt has loaded what we're going to do is i'm just going to make this a little bit bigger so you can see is we're going to go into the d drive where i've got my minecraft installed so once i'm in my d drive there i'm going to type in cd space games because i know it's in the games folder and then i'm going to type in cd space minecraft Okay, now that we're in the Minecraft folder, I'm just going to type in DIR to see what folders are there. And the one that we need to go to is this one, Runtime. So if you type in CD space Runtime, and then again, we're going to type DIR just to see what folders we've got there. So as you can see, there's a folder here called JRE-Legacy. So I'm going to type in CD JRE-Legacy. Then I'm going to do DIR again. As you can see, I've got another folder here called Windows-X64. I'm going to do CD Windows-X64. DIR again. We've got another folder here called JRE-Legacy. So CD space JRE-Legacy. Okay, DIR again just to see what we've got in here. And as you can see, there's a bin folder. So that's the one we need to go into. We've got other ones here as well called lib but we won't require that lib folder. We need the bin one. So if you just type in CD bin. All right. Now, if we just type in DIR. All right. So now you can see we've got all these files in the, in the bin folder. And the main folder that we need to use is this one, java.exe. If you see here, I've got the uh, JRE legacy folder open. If we go into the bin folder, java.exe is actually preloaded into the Minecraft folder when you install it. So that's what we're actually using. So basically we're using the java.exe file 
to enable us to open up the Optifine file and install it. All right, so let me just minimize this. All right, so now that we're in the bin folder here in DOS, what we need to type in is Java space. You can also type in java.exe. And then what you need to type is hyphen jar. And now, because we saved our Optifine file in our D drive, you need to type in D colon optifine.jar. Now, obviously, if you've put this in another folder, if you put the Optifine file in another folder, you need to put that part on here exactly how it is. So just make a note of how this looks. So it's Java hyphen jar and then the Optifine file where that's located. Hit enter and it should open up the Optifine installer. And as you can see, it's, it's found where Minecraft is. And that's the default install directory for Minecraft. So just hit install and that should install Optifine for you. All right, so once that's been installed, just type in exit and that should exit out of the command prompt. All right, now we need to download and install our shader packs. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that Optifine is actually installed properly. So if you open up the Minecraft launcher, wait for that to load up. All right, so at the bottom left here, it might say latest release, but if you just click on the drop down here, you'll see that it does say Optifine here. So that does show you that Optifine has been installed properly. And what we need to do now is click on play, making sure Optifine is selected there. All right, now we click on options, video settings, shaders. And if you click on this button here, which says shaders folder, it will open up the shader packs folder. And as you can see, it's currently says this folder is empty because I have deleted all my shaders just to show you this example. What we now need to do is download a shader pack and put it in this folder. So if we open up our internet browser again, I'm just going to type in BSL shaders. And it's normally the first link. So if we click on this one, which is the main author's website, this is BSL shaders, click on download. Download BSL version eight. It's going to take you to this page and it'll automatically begin downloading. As you can see. All right. So as you can see, I've got the BSL zip file. So you don't actually need to unzip this or anything. You just take this file and just drag it into the shader packs directory and that's it. And once you've done that, just close this down, go back to the Minecraft launcher, click on play. Making sure that Optifine is selected as before. Just wait for this to load up. All right, now we can click on options, video settings, shaders. And as you can see, I've got BSL selected here. It might be selected on the internal if you are using this for the first time. So you can just click on BSL. And you know it's been selected because yeah, that's the one that's highlighted. So click on done, click on done again. Let's go back into our game and see how it looks. All right, so now we are enjoying the BSL shaders and happy days are here. And we have successfully managed to install Optifine without having Java installed on our system. I do recommend that you do try and do it the Java method because this method is quite long. But if for some reason you can't install Java or you don't want to, then all you need to do is, as I showed you earlier, use the command prompt, use the java.exe, the Minecraft launcher folder, and making sure that you type hyphen jar and then the pathway to where you've got Optifine stored and that will open up the installer for Optifine. Hope you guys have found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please give us a like. Please do subscribe to this channel to help support it, help it grow. If you have any queries or comments or you have any problems, please do leave them in the comment section below. And thank you for watching.